What's going down, Power Director peeps? Today, I'm going to hit you off with a Power Director quick tip and show you a shortcut for inserting clips on the timeline. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. As you can see, I have some clips on the timeline. These could be separate clips or clips that you trim, split, doesn't even matter. All you need to know is that, hey, I want to insert a clip in between them. Now, what you can do is you can simply go ahead and click on a clip and it'll move the playhead right in between these two clips and right at the beginning of this one where you want to go ahead and insert the other clip. Then all you got to do is go up to the library, right click on a clip, select insert on selected track and select insert. And now it went ahead and inserted that clip in between the other two on track one. Now, this clip on track two stayed where it's at. And if you want to keep it where it's at, it's all good. But there may be times when you want to do a ripple insert and keep everything in sync. Meaning that if I insert this clip here, this clip moves over and stays where it was in the timeline in respect to all the other clips. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to do alt delete and it'll move everything back to where it was. I'm going to make sure I still have track one selected. And now I'm going to right click on that same clip. I'm going to go to insert on selected track. And this time I'm going to select insert and move all clips. That moved the clip that was on the other track and it kept it in sync. So no matter how many tracks you have, what other assets, it'll move everything past that clip over and keep it all in sync. So let's go ahead and move this back how it was. I'm just going to do control Z and undo that. And I'm going to delete this clip here as well. Let's delete that. I'm going to click back on this clip here. Now, let's say you wanted to get a little fancy with it. You want to do some fanciness. Well, there's another option on here. So if I were to right click on this clip and go to insert on selected track, I could choose crossfade. And this will create a crossfade between the old clip that was there and the new clip. So it basically placed the new clip behind it. But now if you play this back, you'll see that it's going to fade from the clip that was there to the new clip that was added. Fancy. Now you're inserting clips like a seasoned pro. If you want to see more quick tips like this, let me know in the comment section and I'll keep bringing them to you. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.